the important portion of the 11th chapter. Let's do proper dhyanam. First, deep exhalation followed by deep inhalation. Retain the breath for as long as possible. And then, after that, consciously exhale. When you exhale, you should be conscious of the exhalation. Relax the physical body. And when you focus on the breath, the mind will get quietened automatically. So, through this practice of pranayama, one can easily relax the mind and also physical body. One who practices this pranayama regularly, three times a day, at least 12 times, three times a day, will enjoy very good health. So, health is wealth. So, make sure you do pranayama regularly and take care of the health. And Upanishad mantra say that when the mind is quietened and with knowledge of study of Vedanta Shastras, one should do Upasana Dhyanam on the Supreme Truth, it is Brahman. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma, Tat Jalaniti Shanta Upasita. Only absolute reality that is permeating the entire universe all around is Brahman. And this Brahman, from this absolute reality called Brahman arises the relatively real universe. Srishti, Sthiti, Layam, constantly the creation, sustenance, dissolution keeps on happening. One supreme entity doesn't undergo any change and that is Brahman. 
and to recognize this brahman even more clearly punishat mantra points out that this brahman is the atma tattvam the pure consciousness principle available within all living beings through which all the cognitions happen all the cognition is possible only because of the presence of atman which is brahman pure consciousness so the mantra says pratibodh viditam matam amritatvam hi vindate atmana vindate viryam vidhyaya vindate amritam very powerful mantra pratibodh viditam matam bodham bodham pratibodham constant cognition that is happening go beyond all the objective entities when you focus on the cognition principle you can grasp the supreme truth which is atman bodham bodham the continuous cognition that is happening is because of the presence of the conscious principle atman viditam matam so understand this clearly and this is the established truth that is your absolute reality the pure consciousness sent within you so this knowledge crystal clear knowledge doubtless knowledge that i am the pure atman brahman the only reality bestows immortality pratibodh viditam matam amrutatvam hi vindate bestows immortality and atmana vindate viryam this atma gyanam will make sure that you are insulated from all the vagaries of that things that happen surrounding you including your own thoughts emotions relationships any other issue that are there around you you get insulated by establishing yourself in the supreme truth atma tattvam so atmana vindate viryam this is what is a special mental fortitude of an atma gyani which everyone can get provided you are firmly established in this atma gyanam vidyaya vindate amritam the knowledge of this absolute reality bestows immortality so wonderful mantra to remember constantly so let's see how to proceed systematically to attain the state of brahma gyanam shri guru bhyo namaha hari om वक्रतुंड महाकाजसूत्यकोटिम प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे दर्वकार्यु सर्वदा गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्ष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुर साक्षात परम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम निधेषे भवरोगिणाम गुरव सर्वोका दक्षिण मूर्त नम सदा शुभ सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा स्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंक लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण पुत्र भाष्यक वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिणे व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम अपारकुण सिंधु ज्ञानद शातिण श्रीचंद्रशेखर गुर प्रणमा मुदाहम ओ कैमरा स्टैंड यम ब्रह्म लौडली यम ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्रुद्रमुत स्तुन्वस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषदर्गायम साम ध्यानावस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्य यम योगि यस्या न विदुस्सुरा सुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम ओं श्रीकृष्णा परमात्म नम स्टैंडी सिक्स लोका स्विच ऑन युअर कैमरा एंड चैंड विथ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द मीनिंग ओं श्री गणेशय नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं श्री भगवाच तेवाकंपा अहम तम नाशयात्मस्थ ज्ञानदीपेन भास्वता ज्योतिषा तज्योति 
तमस पर मुख्यते ज्ञान ज्ञेश ज्ञानगम्यम हृदय सर्व विष्ठित न हि ज्ञान सदृश पवित्रमह विद्य तत्स्वयं योग संसिध कालनात्मती ज्ञान तो तदज्ञानमशाशितम तदिवज्ञान प्रकाशयति तत्पर यथाधांसि सोग्नि भस्म सात्जुन ज्ञानाकर्मा भस्म सात्ते तथा ये सर्वे सरंभा काम संकल्पर्जिता ज्ञानाग्निदर्माण तमाहु पंडित बुधा ओम शांति 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 ऑल इज ज्ञानाग्नि अंडरस्टैंड दैट नाउ हाउ टू मैनेज द रिलेटिव यूनिवर्स रिलेटिव एंटिटीज दीज फाइव श्लोका ऑलवेज मेंबर श्री भगवाच दैवी हेषा गुणमयी मम मया दुरत्य मे प्रपद्य माया मेता तरती ते अनिंत मे जना पर्युपासते तुक्ता योगक्षेम महाम्यहम मत परतर नान्यत किंचिदस्ति धनंजय मयि सर्वद प्रोत सूत्रे मणिगणाइव ईश्वर सर्वूता हृदयशेर्जुन ठति भ्रामयन सर्वूता यंत्रूढ़ा मया सो वट इज अल्टिमेट ट्रूथ प्रपंचो यदि विद्येत निवर्तेत न संशय मयामात्रदैत अद्वैत परमाथ शांति 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 अथ श्रीमद्भगवद्गीताशोध्याय विश्वदर्शन योग ओं नारायण पर अंडम व्यक्त संभव अंड सियामे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चेदिनी ओ स्टैंड श्लोका नंबर फिफ्टीन विच I don't know whether we learned the last class. Did we learn the chanting? Shloka number fifteen. Fourteen PBA done. Fourteen, okay. Fourteen we have learned. So fourteen not done. Okay. Let's uh, let's all chant shloka number fourteen. Sanjaya vacha tata sabisma ya vista ha hristaro madha nanjaya ha pranam yashira sadevam. कृताजलिभाषत ओं शांति 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 हार्दम स्वागत हार्टी वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर विश्व रूप दर्शन योग चैप्टर इलेवन ऑफ द भगवदगीता सो बी आर द स्टेज वेर संजया हेज सीन दि विश्व द कॉस्मिक फॉर्म and he has described the key aspects because explanation of this cosmic form can go on and on hmm? the running commentary can extend extend for what ad infin- infinitum we say no can go on and on uh, so sanjay has briefly explained finally is focusing on arjuna who has now slightly coming back to senses after seeing the wonderful form and what is the first reaction that arjuna is no displaying one of devotion and what prostration so sanjay is saying that when this form was revealed by bhagwan 
Arjuna first was wonderstruck and then thrilled. First, you are, then look at something wonderful. First time when you see something on world wonder, what will happen? You get wonderstruck. Ah, what is this? Next, there is some thrill, right? Aha, uh -huh, I am seeing this. Sometimes you have to remind yourself, oh, I am seeing this myself. So, you get the thrill. So, for that period, your mind is a bit, what? Stupefied. Just stand still. And slowly, when you come back to senses, you do as a first reaction something here. Arjuna, what did you do? He did prostrations to Bhagavan. I told you, this Namaskaraha, this Pranamya is the most important aspect of our Vedic culture. To elders, to gurus, to mahans, to people who are to be respected. We always, what? We don't say, hi, how are you? That's not the way we you know, interact. We do namaste here. Arjuna now bows down his head, shows his submission to the Supreme. And he is speaking all these words. What he is going to speak going forward with hands joined. The palms are joined like this. Sometimes you see some people in front of Mahans. Very wonderful. They won't even, you should actually either keep your hand or keep like this and speak. Or you close your mouth like this and speak. You should not no, stand like this and do this and speak. You should be very respectful. Please understand this Namaskara. Say Ashtanga Namaskaram, right? For men. And Panchanga Namaskaram for Sri Matas. So, all aspects. So, Shirasa, Urasa, Vachasa, Manasa. All aspects have to be, have to be, you know, bowed down. Should display. Should See, Namaskaram is an expression of your Shraddha, your Bhakti, your you know, humility. It is not enough to say, in the mind, I am humble. Uh, you should display. Namaskara is a you know, way to express your humility. And why? Because that is the way to express our devotion to something really, really reverential. Just to be revered, this is the way. Okay. Now, look at the Padavi Bhagan. Are PVA done for 14 or not? Can you confirm? Anybody? No, not done. Okay. Please take now. All of you get alert. Being in the class. Okay. Tata ha. Saha Vismaya Vishtaha. One word. Hrishtaroma is Hrishtaromaha. You need a Visarga. Hrishtaromaha Dhananjayaha. Hrishtaromaha is one word. Dhananjayaha. Pranamya Shirasa Devam. <coughs> Kirtanjalihi. Abhashata. Clear? Oh, sure. You are no, very good at getting the right number of padas. Very good. Now, let's look at the Anvaya. Tataha. Now, you see, when you do the Anvaya, it will make more meaning. Tataha. Saha. Dhananjayaha. Where is Dhananjayaha? To the end. Saha. Dhananjayaha. So, Saha should be connected with. Dhananjayaha, Tataha, Saha, Dhananjayaha, Vismaya, Vishtaha, very correctly organize the words, then you will get a lot of clarity, Vismaya, Vishtaha, Hrishtaromaha, clear? Now what did you do? Pranamya Devam Shirasa, so Pranamya Shirasa Devam, Devam Shirasa, Pranamya Devam Shirasa, Abhashata, Kritanjali he very nicely organized all the different groups. What are the groups? Tataha Saha Dhananjayaha. First group. Second. Second shows his internal feelings. Ismaya Vishtaha Hrishtaromaha. Third group so shows his external reaction to the Vishwarupam. Pranamya Devam Shirasa. And finally, the last group, what did he do? Abhashata Kritanjalihi. Clear? Now, look at the Anmaya meaning. Tataha. Then, because Sanjay is describing the no, scene, seeing in front of him. Tataha. Then, 
That means what? After the Vishwarupam was revealed by Bhagavan to Arjuna, then hmm, Saha Dhananjaya, that Arjuna, which Arjuna? Why is now he called that Arjuna? Not only normal Arjuna. This Arjuna has got something special. He is not the old Arjuna. New Arjuna. What is the speciality with this Arjuna now? Everybody is what? Should be. Ah, got the Divyam Chakshuhu. Very good. Now you are all the subject matter. So that Arjuna, that's what it means. So that Arjuna means here, put in bracket, person now endowed, bestowed. Uh, was bestowed the Divyam Chakshuhu, divine eye by Bhagavan. That Arjuna. So, in a very short form, Sanjay is describing his internal feelings. What are they? Vismaya Vishtaha. Vismaya Avishtaha. Vismaya means getting wonder stuck. Avishtaha. Avishtaha means stuck. Vismaya means wonder. And Avishtaha became an embodiment of what? Wonder. It means what? Wonder stuck. Who was wonder stuck? And Hrishta Roma. Ha. So Roma ha means what? All the hairs standing on one end. That's why it's called thrilled. This is something, no? Really wonderful. Then your hair will stand on one end. You say, no? Hrishta. Earlier also, same, different, for different occasion, Arjuna had a what? Whole shock. What was the shock he had earlier? The first chapter. He was shocked about the thought he has to fight his what? Guru, Pitamaha and all. Now Bhagavan is slowly changing his mindset. Please understand how slowly Bhagavan is changing. You are seeing only one aspect of what you are supposed to do. Look at what I am doing. Okay. So, looking at that wonderful form, he was wonderstruck and thrilled both. And what is the first reaction? Pranamme Devam Shirasa. Shirasa means with his head. I told you, Ashtangam indicates eight aspects of the physical body which have to prostrate to the Lord Bhagavan or Mahan. So, Shirasa with his head. Pranamya. Pranamya means did namaskaram. So, Pranamya. Um Devam. Devam here refers to Krishna Paramatma in Vishwarupam. So, Devam here is Bhagavan. Saluted Bhagavan with his head. So, one aspect. And Abhashata. Abhashata means spoke. I told you. Bhashata speak. Abhashata spoke. What, in what way did he speak? Krita Anjali hi. So, Krita Anjali. Krita Anjali hi means with joint palms. Palms are joined together like this. He is bowing down his head to Bhagavan. Visualize. That's why you see many pictures. In front of Vishwarupam, Arjuna is shown as bowing down his head with, with joint palms. So, now what does Arjuna say? Now, we see from now on. The meter, the chandas of the shlokas will change. That means what? What does it mean? The shlokas are very important. In those days, there is no special what? Highlighter. No underlining, nothing. There is only what? Palm lift. Keep on writing. Uh, you, and you cannot come back and underline. No highlight, nothing. So, they are very intelligent enough to change the meter, which means... Those shlokas are very important. What chandas is this? All shlokas are anushtup chandas. This will be in trishtup chandas. Very good. Now all these shlokas, now you have to chant with a lot of devotion because Arjuna himself is chanting all these shlokas, saying all these words with a lot of devotion. With, with what? Joint palms, prostration to Bhagavan. Arjuna vacha pashyami devas Tava Deva Dehe Sarvam Stata Bhuta Vishesha Sanghan Brahmana Misham Kamalasanastham Rishim to Sarvan Uragam Stadivyan 
अर्जुन उवाच पश्या देवास्तव देव देहे सर्वास्तथा भूत विशेष संघान ब्रह्माणमीशं कमलासनस्थम ऋषीं चर्वाश्च दिव्या अर्जुन उवाच पश्या देवास्तव देव देहे सर्वास्तथा भूत विशेष संघान ब्रह्माणमीशं कमलासनस्थम ऋषीं चर्वाश्च दिव्यान ओं शांतिशाति so arjuna now has gathered himself to say a few words so sometimes no many you know many people when they go in front of the stage before going to the stage they are prepared very well all the speech and when they go and stand in front of the people and look at all the people they'll forget or they're supposed to speak then slowly huh, they will recover something they'll say something and come off quickly na nah. Again, uta boru na 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 leave me alone. Man, that's the way. So the stage fear many people have got. Best way is what? Be confident, no subject matter, and look at the people in their eyes and speak. That is what generally say. Anyway, coming to the point here, Rajuna is saying he is describing what he is seeing. So it's very simple for him. Whatever he is seeing. So sometimes you just go, you not go and say, you know, I am seeing all of you. You are all present here. If you don't know what to speak, you say something, right? Here, Arjuna is more serious. He is saying that, "Hey, Bhagwan, I am able to see the Vishwarupam." And so, key aspect once again, he is is what he is able to express. That means what? What does it mean? Bhagwan is enabling him to focus on those aspects that Arjuna is explaining. Are you getting the point? If you show the entire universe in one one screen, can you see everything distinctly? You tell me. To see everything, you should have a broad canvas, and everything will appear very small, right? It will appear in one, one picture. So those aspects where he wants to show and focus, those are being zoomed. You can say zoom, correct? Ah, Bhagwan is using zoom technique, and so Arjuna is saying in your physical body. That means what Bhagwan's, what Krishna Paramatmas. what background that the body is the background i see all the gods that means what what are all the gods indra varuna ayu uh, all the gods that means what he is seeing indra sabha uh, all the gods as well as host of various beings what all bhagwan told asuras rudras adityas all those things are all various Celestial beings, I'm able to see. So the first focus of Arjuna is what? Swargalo, come and beyond. Clear? What are the lokas? In in Bhagavan's Vishwarupa, all the lokas are present or not? What are the lokas? Seven lokas above, seven lokas below. So bhuhu, bhuvaha, swaha, maha, janaha, tapaha, satyalo, come. Why satyalo come? You will understand now. And below are what? Seven loka, atala, vitala, sutala, rasatala, talatala, mahatala, bhata, ala. Seven loka, four, seven plus one, fourteen lokas. His sight is first going upwards. So in swarga lokam, so what is swarga lokam? Which which level? Swarga loka is level three. I had to give you all normal language, na? Level three. Level three, he is seeing all the gods, the Indra, etc., etc., and hosts of various beings. So as you go higher and higher, it is said that mahar loka, all the mahans are resting in the mahar loka. Then Tapo loka, so in tapo loka, all the rishis are doing tapas. So that's how the different lokas are organized. And then finally, if you go to the top, what is the highest loka? Satya loka. It's also called as what? Brahma loka. By now you should have got familiar with Brahma loka. How eighth chapter gave you an introduction to Brahma loka or not? So or no? Ah, you got an introduction to Brahma loka. And what is the speciality of Brahma Loka? Duration of a day. All that you should remember. Okay, eight point six four billion years. So all that is applicable here. Okay. Now from there, when he goes to that particular vision, he is seeing Lord Brahma. Aha, he has seen Lord Brahma. 
physically to see somebody physically you should have close up right is saying lord brahma seated on a lotus we all know that brahma ji is sitting on the lotus constantly in tapas creation continuous creation is doing god four heads and all the four directions all the four vedas everything is there so is seen brahma ji oh ho so is brahma ji closely it means what the vision should have gone to satyalokam please understand then all the sages i told you know sages are in different lokas and then celestial serpents so in the in the higher lokas there are different kinds of serpents which are what like ananta so ananta is a serpent right like that there are many divine serpents which are there in the higher lokas all that he has seen so quickly is expressing what all he has seen quickly na ken some time back there was no there used to be one uh, small game i don't know whether they have the same game now called memory test satishwara in apka idya on the room only it's like a game so they'll keep some um, hundred items they'll give one minute you have to memorize what all items are there and then they will take away the object after, after one minute so if you are told correctly whatever you have memorized if you tell them correctly those you can take home <laughs> okay so maximum people will try to memorize forget half so like that here whatever you have seen arjuna is immediately expressing that i see in all these things quickly whatever you have seen is saying these are all what first focus is on beings like all of us know when you go outside who is there people are say they go in the in bus train car they want window seat why to see outside what is there so you have seen and we focus on more on people so different living beings arjuna is focusing important question now all the things that arjuna is seeing is part of maya or is it part of satyam quick question it is ah uh, you are all very clear ah uh, maya matram idam dvaitam advaitam paramarthatah so this maya prapancham is resting on ishvara tattvam or understanding now that is the message of the vishwarupa darshanam that's why in one song muttu swami dikshadar sings about varneshwara na solra subramanian sir maya maya jagadadharam so maya mayam jagat ken aadharam substratum for the entire maya mayam jagat is ishvara Our understanding kaya rohane shamra or part la unda alaga is things maya maya jagadadharam guru gopacharam very nice remember that so maya mithya jagadadishthana is another name for what devi mithya jagat maya jagat adhishthanam so please understand the whole world is nothing but seemingly real the only reality is what brahman in what saguna brahman becomes ishwar are you understanding now vishwarupa darshanam is to make you move systematically from something that you can understand to the ultimate reality which is beyond all the cognition principles ashabda masparsha marupa mahyam clear now look at the pada vibhaga anvaya first shloka number 15 arjuna uvacha so arjuna class gathered himself to speak a few words arjuna uvacha pashyami devan tava he deva so that is saying bhagwan is he deva dehe he should be supplied sambodhana vibhakti he deva pashyami devan tava dehe so there is anvaya anyway look at the normal no pada vibhaga pashyami devan tava deva dehe sarvan tatha bhuta vishesha sanghan bhuta vishesha sanghan brahmanam isham kamal kamalasanastham rishin cha sarvan uragan cha 
divyan clear uh, 17 words now you see from now on number of words will be more and more because the meter has changed so look at the anmaya arjunaha uvacha he deva the word is deva but supply the word he he deva tava dehe clear tava tava dehe are on the two sides of the word deva clear tava dehe pashyami sarvan devan pashyami first word sarvan comes from sarvan sata sarvan devan go back so deva he deva tava dehe pashyami sarvan devan little bit of sanskrit you can know sentence formation clear then next is what tatha here is tatha should be able to control the tatha tatha bhuta vishesha sandhan sarvam tatha is there no tatha bhuta vishesha sandhan then isham brahmanam brahmanam isham becomes isham brahmanam kamalasanastham clear sarvan rishin cha cha divyan uragan clear hmm all of you one way is clear very good now look at the meaning now arjuna ha uvacha so arjuna is the speaker now arjuna said what deva he deva he bhagwan o oh lord the real lord not the lord in your no cold room not o oh lord my lord here he bhagwan tava dehe he is speaking now in your body in your background of krishna paramatma's body is there in your body pashyami i see what sarvan devan so sarvan means what all the gods devan so arjuna has seen the gods earlier you know that arjuna went to sargaloka to help indra to fight the asura so he recognized oh i saw the slow there i went there i'm seeing from here itself the earlier he had to go there to see now he can see them from here itself i'm seeing all the gods so he's, that's why he's confidently saying i have seen all of you so i'm seeing all the gods see all the gods tatha tatha means as well as bhuta vishesha sandhan so sandhan means group host of what bhuta vishesha sandhan various beings special beings means what vasus rudra adityas all that you should should take care as what bhagwan has told earlier bhuta vishesha sandhan bhuta visheshanam स्थावर जंगमस्थान आदिशंकराचार्य भाष्यम ऐल एक्सप्लेन अगेन सो भूत विशेषा विशेषाण वाटर दे स्थावर जंगम स्थावर मीन वाट इम मोबाइल नॉट मूविंग देन जंगम मीन वाट movable item so both stationary and mobile objects nana samstha nana samsthana visheshanam so they are all what having various wonderful qualities so different creatures having different qualities and what is a sanghaha means groups we call bhuta vish sanghaha tan all those things arjuna has seen then in that specially he wants to point out what who stands as a towering principle among everybody it has to be the greatest principle who has created all the beings all the different forms and so he is saying i am able to see isham brahmanam isham here means the lord so bhagwan lord 
Brahmaji, I'm able to see Brahmaji, always special, right? Four heads, all those things. So, Lord Brahma. And for him, special seat is there. What is the seat? Kamalasanastham. Kamalam means what? You all know, lotus. Asanam. Kamalasanastham. So, so <coughs> he is seated on a lotus. Then, Sarvan Rishin Cha. All the sages. So, Vashishtadina Sarvan. Sapta Rishis. Take all the Rishis. So, Adar Shankara mentions Vashishtadina. That means what? Vashishta is the foremost among all the Rishis. Adar Shankara is reading also Arjuna's mind. He was in Vashishta, the first Rishi. Right? So, Vashishtadina. Huh? Uragan Cha Sarvan. Uragan means what? Cha. Cha Divyan Uragan. Divyan Divine. Uragan means serpents. So, celestial serpents like Vasuki Prabhutin. So, Vasuki and rest. You also heard Vasuki or not? Is a celestial serpent, etc. All those things he has seen. So, his focus now is on what? Quickly. On the higher worlds. And he has quickly explained all the different beings he has seen. Now, Suddenly his focus has changed. Now you see how the, like you know, many people see films, no? They show something, suddenly they change, change the focus to make you all mesmerized. See, we get mesmerized by seeing all the films. Arjuna is seeing real things. That is making him totally wonderstruck and mesmerized. Now look at suddenly, you no know, vision moves towards Bhagavan's physical features. Bhagavan is seeing now. Earlier Bhagavan was very friendly, two hands, two legs, charioteer listening to him. All that is, now you look at what is happening now. Loka number 16. Slowly the intensity will change. Loka number 16. Arjuna vacha aneka bahudara bhaktra netram pashyamitvam sarvato nantarupam nantam namadhyam napunastavadhim Pashyami Vishveshvara Vishvarupa Arjuna Vacha Aneka Bahudara Vakra Netram Pashyamitvam Sarvato Nantarupam Nantam Namadhyam Napunastavadam Pashyami Vishveshvara Vishvarupa Very good, Papa Sugadhar. Arjuna Vacha Haneka Bahu Dara Bhaktra Netram Pashyamitvam Sarvato Nantarupam Nantam Namadhyam Napunastabadhim Pashyami Vishveshvara Vishvarupa Om Shanti 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 So the chapter name is coming from this shloka. Look at the last word. What is the word? Vishwarupa. So, so Vishwarupa here means the Lord with the universal form. It is addressing, it's not Vishwarupa Dashnam, addressing Bhagavan as He Vishwarupa, He Vishweshwara. Hmm? So, Vishweshwara is what? Parameshwara or Lord Krishna now? Many people got doubt, right? <laughs> Vishweshwara. Okay. Anyway, now look at the meaning. So, now he is looking at Bhagavan, saying that, Bhagavan, I am seeing you everywhere with countless forms, so many different forms. Since the forms are resting on Bhagavan, he is not able to differentiate between what is the background and what is the object. Are you getting the point? You understand? When something is seen as appearing on top of it, we think that it is a part of that background itself, correct? If you don't know that both are actually it's contactless sustenance, but suddenly saying that I am seeing you everywhere with countless forms. Means what? Bhagavan himself got means what? Different forms are there on Bhagavan. Now he's saying that Bhagavan yourself are appearing in different forms, countless forms. With many arms, so many arms, so many people are there on one physical body. 
Each one has got minimum two arms. Let us keep for example. If there are million people, how many arms will you see? Suddenly you will see only millions of arms. That means what? Suddenly, what has happened? Bhagavan has given zoom out. Only when you zoom out, you can see many millions, right? Many, many arms. So, countless forms. He says countless forms means what? Think. He is not focusing on one entity. Millions of beings are there. Millions of what? Arms. And then specially, no? many countless forms, countless abdomens. So, so many hands, so many abdomens, so many mouths and so many eyes. If you can just think about it. Huh? All resting on Bhagavan. But when you see suddenly, it becomes part of Bhagavan. That is why the mantra, what it says, Sahasra Shirusha Purushaha Sahasraksha Sahasra Pate Abho who <coughs> So everything is existing on Bhagavan. But since they are connected, unable to differentiate between the separate entity and Bhagavan Swarupam says everything I am seeing. So many mouths, eyes, abdomens, arms, everything. Then what? Since he is seeing the vastness of the, the cosmic form, he is saying, I see neither your beginning nor the middle nor the end. I don't know which is the beginning, which is the middle, which is the end. Sometimes when you go on some long drive, long road, maybe one, one road is a 100 miles, you don't know whether you are on the beginning of the road, middle of the road or end of the road. You don't know, right? Sometimes there are many places. In the Midwest, especially in the US, keep on driving countless miles. Like that. Anyway, I mean the beginning of the journey, middle of the journey, end of the journey. Like that. Something is so huge. Arjuna is saying that I am not able to understand which is the beginning, which is the middle, which is the end. So, frankly, he is saying that I am not able to what recognize the beginning, end or the middle. So, he is addressing Bhagavan as you are the lord of the universe. So, since the entire universe is resting on Bhagavan, so, so much of drama Bhagavan has to do. Because Arjuna said, I want to see, right? said, I understood all the theory. I don't practically see all these things. So, Bhagavan is now saying, accepting. Bhagavan, you are the Lord of the universe. So, I told you, Maya Maya Jagadadharam Mithya Jagadadishthana. So, two words you write down. Hmm? All that you are chanting every day. Write down. And, so you are the Bhagavan with the universal form. That means what? What? Vishwarupam. Vishwarupaya vai namo namaha. That shloka I keep on saying. That Vishwarupa you are. So, now what? It's focusing on the Bhagavan aspect. Did you understand the difference in Shloka 16 and 17? 16 was all the objects seen on Bhagavan. 17 is Bhagavan himself. Okay. Now look at the Padavi Bhaga Anvaya. Then we will go to the e-book. Keep the e-book ready. It will be very useful for you to understand the structure. Because what happens? Many people when seeing the film, no? You don't understand what is happening. They get stuck within that scene itself. There is some storyline. Let us see what is the this summary or the real message behind all these shlokas. Now, first Padavi Bhaga Anvaya, shloka number 16. Alika Bahudara Bhaktra Netram. It's all Samasthapadam. I'll give you the Vigraha Vakya. Aneka Bahudara Bhaktra Netram. Pashyami Tvam Sarvataha Anantarupam. Clear so far? Then, Na Antam Na Madhyam Na Punaha Tava Adim Pashyami He Vishveshwara Supply the word He. Now don't count the number as extra, but He Vishveshwara is the Sambodhana addressing Bhagavan. Then He Vishwarupa. So, oh, hey, Vishweshara, hey, Vishwarupa. Very good. Don't count the hey in the counting of words. Clear? Now, look at the Anmaya. Pashyami Tvam. So, very clear. Second Badam. So, Pashyami Tvam. Sarvataha Anantarupam. All that is part of the second Badam. Pashyami Tvam. Sarvataha Anantarupam. 
ಧನ್ನ ಅನೇಕ ಬಾಹೂದರ ಭಕ್ತರ ನೇತ್ರಂ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಹೇಗಿದು ವ್ಯುತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ದೆನ್ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಾ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏನು ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಹಿ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಸೀ ವಾಟ್ ನ ತವ ಆದಿಂ ನೈದರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ನೋ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೈ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಆಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಟು ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲೈಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ಸರ್ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಲೈಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ವಾಟ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಎನಿವೇ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸೇ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೊ ಆದಿ ಅನಂತಂ ಸೊ ಅನಾದಿ ಅನಂತಂ ಆದಿ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತಂ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಅನಾದಿ ಅನಂತಂ ಇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀ what the beginning or end so na antam na madhyam so ananta roopam aneka bahudara vaktra netram pashyami na tava adim where is tava adim punas tava adim is there no na tava adim na madhyam na punaha antam clear adim madhyam antam so all the three why you are not able to say the madhyam you can say some place madhyam no why you cannot say if you do not know beginning and end you cannot say what is the middle right suppose there is a line if you don't know what the, the two ends you cannot say which is the midpoint right similarly when you don't know the beginning and you cannot find the middle so na madhyam na punaha antam so meaning will see separately and is addressing bhagwan as hey vishveshwara so the ishwara for the entire vishwam is called vishveshwara oh lord of the universe then hey vishwarupa clear and may i clear now should i do again i'll do again pashyami tvam sarvatah ananta roopam aneka bahudara vaktra netram again again pashyami ನ ತವ ಆದಿಂ ನ ಮಧ್ಯಂ ನ ಪುನಃ ಅಂತಂ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಅನ್ವಯ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ವಯ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ತ್ವಾಂ ಐ ಸಿ ಯು ಸೊ ಐ ಎಂ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವೇರ್ sarvatah everywhere everywhere means what everywhere all entire universe so that's why <coughs> even the vishnu sastram starts with what first shloka vishvam vishnur va shatkaro bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu bhuta krit bhuta bhrat bhavo ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಭಾವನ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಪಿತಾಮ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ನೋ ಫೋಟೋ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಸೊ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ತ್ವಾಂ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯು ತವ ಸರ್ವತಃ ಸರ್ವತಃ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಶಂಕರ ಸೇಸ್ ತವ ದೇಹೇ ಸೊ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯುವರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಆಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನಂತ ರೂಪಂ 
Ananta Rupam means what? Countless forms. So many forms are there. Not that Bhagavan himself has got many forms. Many forms are there that are resting on Bhagavan. So, you are not able to differentiate between what is real Bhagavan, what is the object that is being what? Sustained with Bhagavan. So, he says, I am able to see so many countless forms. I see you everywhere with countless forms. So, <clears throat> and what? What are these forms? Each form has got all these things. Aneka Bahudara Vakra Netram. Now look at the Vigra Vakyam. Ane so the, what is the word? Aneka Aneka Bahu Udara Vakra Netram. First level. So Aneka many Bahun, you know that Udaram Vakra Netram. So roughly you have this. Now look at the correct way of doing the Vigra Vakyam. Aneke Bahavaha, should say. So, Aneke Bahavaha, Aneke Udarani, Aneke Bhaktrani, Aneke Netrani, Cha Yasya Tava, Sahatvam, Aneke Bahudara Bhaktra Netraha, Tam, Aneke Bahudara Bhaktra Netram. See, to end the word, when the word is ending with makaram, you have to add tam. Clear? So, what is the meaning? Aneke baha baha means what? Many, 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 many bahun, shoulders. So, baha baha, many arms. Then, aneke udarani. So, many, many udaram means what? The stomach area, abdomens. Okay. Then, ane, aneke vakta. Vaktrani. Vaktram means what? Vaktram means mouth. So, the organ through which you speak. So, Vaktum. Yogyam Vaktram. Understand? Vaktra. Vaktram means what? Die. The object through which the mouth only can speak. Can you speak through the ear? Can you speak through the nose? That's why ear mouth is given. Of course, mouth does a lot of things. Mouth also gobbles food there. Uh, Mouth speaks so many things, so mouth is an agent. So, Bhaktrani, uh, Aneka Bhaktrani, many mouths. And Aneka Netrani, many eyes. So, he's seeing so many different forms of from resting on Bhagavan. He's unable to differentiate between the really Bhagavan or the beings on Bhagavan. Then he's saying, Pashyami, I see. Na Tava Adim, neither your beginning. Na madhyam nor the middle. Na punaha antam. Again, I am not able to cognize the end. He Vishveshwara. So, Vishwa plus Ishwara, Vishveshwara. Okay. So, you have the Lord of the Universe. When the whole universe is resting on Bhagavan, obviously, Lord of the Universe, Vishwarupa. So, you are now that Bhagavan, the universal form. Vishwarupa. So, this chapter has got the name Vishwarupa Darshan and Yoga from this shloka. So, Atara Shankara says, So, Aneka Bahu Dara Bhaktra Netram Pashyami Tva Tvam Sarvataha Sarvatra All places. Ananta Rupam Anantani Rupani Asya Iti Ananta Rupaha Tam Ananta All grammar. Ananta Rupam Nantam Antaha Basanam na madhyam, madhyam nama, vayoho, kotyo ho. I told you, you know, two ends. If you don't know, antaram na punaha. So I am not able to understand the middle. Punaha, tava adim, beginning na tava, dev, devasya antam pashyami na madhyam pashyami na punaha, adim pashyami he vishwishwara, he vishwarupa. So I am not able to see either the beginning, the middle or the end. So now the focus has now moved to Ishwara Rupam. So, from this, practically understood what Arjuna understood that? In a physical way, that means what directly is understood that Bhagavan's beginning and end and middle can never be found out. And many, many beings are resting here. He's a bit confused. He's not able to different really Bhagavan and what are the forms. If Bhagavan has got thousands and countless abdomens, countless no eyes, countless mouths, what happens? Huh? He becomes very fearful. Right now, he's seeing them and he's saying that I'm seeing you in this. Okay. Now, suddenly he's focusing on some other aspect of Bhagavan. 
Before going to sloka number 17, let us quickly go to your e-book. All of you take the e-books. Very important because there is a message in all this. What Vishwarupa Darshana Shlokas. Let us see what are they. Look, page number 5. Just now we finished description of the universal form by Sanjaya. So look at the shlokas. Important aspect is Sanjaya's mind has been sanctified to give the vision of the Vishwarupam to him. So he refers Bhagavan as what I told you, not as Krishna, not as Govinda, not as Madhava, as what? Mahayogeshwaraha, the most powerful entity through which he creates this universe. For a person who is creating, sustaining and dissolving is nothing but very simple to reveal that. And so all the descriptions we have seen. So look at the implied meaning of Shurupam. Go to second. First is all physical description. Second bullet, you see, after that, Bhagavan's cosmic form. Implied meaning is what? Bhagavan is a sustainer of the entire universe. Important. So, the Vishwarupam is not independent of Bhagavan's body. It is seemingly resting. At the same time, what? Disconnected. This contactless sustenance you should understand. So, the vision to see Vishwarupam, Arjuna got what? Divine eye, what you should have? Jnana Chakshusha. Write down Divyam Chakshuhu. You have Jnana Chakshusha. So, and also a lot of other aspects. When everything is happening on Bhagavan's here physical form, there actually in the Param Brahma Swarupam is resting on the what that principle which cannot be seen will. Bhagavan not know what is happening to everybody, what is happening, what has happened, what is going to happen. Does Bhagavan intervene suddenly and say, no, no, no this should not happen. You stop this. This fellow is going, uh, is going to get no, an accident. Stop. He's going to do all those things. He's going to do. No, it's just what? Write down. Sakshi Cheta Kevalo Nirgunascha. Absolute witness conscious principle. And so that is the ultimate reality, which is Brahman as well as Atman. Now look at the picture here. Pictures speak a thousand words. No, page number six. So when you visualize this cosmic form, the Shurupam, if you are a beginner, your understanding will be at a particular level. If you understand Vedanta, if you studied Vedanta Shastram, your understanding will be much more evolved. Look at the table there. So, if you are a beginner or a Madhyama Adhikari, you will say that all it is resting on the physical form of Krishna Paramatma. This is what all the Vishishta Advaiti, Dvaitis do. They don't understand Vedanta at all. Problem with them. So, as a physically resting, that is the ultimate truth, they think. So, it's not the ultimate truth. That is the beginner's knowledge to help you understand that Bhagavan is sustainer of all the entities. That's what you will understand as a Vedanta. Yeah, you understand Vedanta, you will understand that there is one supreme principle from which emerges the entire universe. It's being sustained by the supreme principle and gets dissolved back in supreme principle. Let me see whether you are understanding. What is special name given to Brahman in our first sloka we chant during Dhyanam? What is that? Tajjalan. Forgotten. Write down. Tajjalan. Tat Jalan means Tat Jam, Tat Nam, Tat Lam. So Jam refers to what? Jana Nam, creation. Tat Nam, that in which it rests. And Tat Layam, Lam, Tal, tal Lam. So Tat Jam, Tal Nam, Tal Lam is Tat Jalan. Okay. So Bhagavan is the, the principle on which everything is supported. Second point. See, Bhagavan only the physical form. Then will you accept that Bhagavan is supporting? But a Vedantic jnani, you don't need a physical form, understanding, constant Vedanta Shastra, you will understand that Bhagavan is really beyond name and form. Ashabdam asparsham arupam abhyayam. Now you are understanding, so for a beginner, intermediate person, you need all the physical form. That's why even for the beginner, you need Bhagavan with photo, all this puja, everything. As you go, Further and further, understand Vedanta Shastra, you do dhyanam without any physical form. 
can understand by Jnanam that supreme principle is actually pure consciousness, your own true nature. It's a progress. Then, though Jnanam, you cannot see Bhagavan everywhere. So, unless Bhagavan constantly displaying, you see, I am here, everything is seeing on me, then only you will be able to say, yes, Bhagavan is sustaining everything. Correct? If you are a beginner, for a Jnani, you can see everywhere that Bhagavan is the sustaining principle. Then, for a normal person, beginner, intermediate, you can see divinity of Bhagavan only with the divine eye. So, you can see the entire Vishwarupam once you are given divine eyes like Arjuna. But for a Jnani, do you need divine eyes? What do you need? You need Jnanam. Vedanta Shastra, you can see divinity everywhere. Right down the Sloka, I told you, Drishtim Jnanamayim Kritva Pashyet Brahmamayam Jagat. So, what is the human reaction to cosmic form? So, what we are going to now study, just introduction, you see. In the beginning, Arjuna is wonderstruck, thrilled. That's why he is saying all these shlokas. Slowly, he is going to focus on other aspects. Don't think Ishwara is all what? Friendly, friendly. Hi, hi, everything is fine. Oh, time is up. I don't... See? And then, so, fear engulfs Arjuna. Finally, changes to devotion. So, we will discuss further. Suddenly, the time is no, running so fast. Anyway, so, let us stand the shloka we learned just now. And then, we will end the class. Arjuna vacha aneka bahu darabaktra netram Pashyamitvam sarvato nantarupam Nantam namadhyam napunastavadim Pashyami vishveshvara vishvarupa Om shanti 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 He see, start explaining Vishwarupa Darshanam. You will not know time is going so fast. Hmm? We will continue in 12 hours. Whoever has not downloaded the ebook, please download. Very important to understand systematically. Also download the 10th chapter PVA book is available. Study systematically. Om Shanti 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 Om Pur Namadav Pur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namadachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Dachate Krishna 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 Shuhamastu Samastha San Mangala Hani Bhutyayata. And Guru Arpan has posted the Namaskar Mahima portion. All of you read slowly. It's a very long no, lecture Mahapriya has given. So wonderful. All of you freely. He, he has bought the book. He has given a scanned copy. Please no, take it and read, understand, digest. Weekend. For weekend, if something interesting to read, please read. You can read this three, four, five times. Even then, you will understand the depth. Very powerful message from Mahapariva. So wonderful. Thank you. Huh? Narayana Nana. We will meet again in 12 hours. Hari Om.